Okay, in this problem we're asked to determine uh, function f, where we're given partial derivatives of f, where f sub x is equal to y cosine of x times y, plus e to the x, and our partial derivative of f with respect to y is x times cosine of xy minus cosine y. Okay, so first we want to determine f, so we'll take We'll let our function f be the integral of one of our partial derivatives uh, with respect to that variable. So we'll just do f of x. So we have we'll let f be the integral of y cosine of xy plus e to the x dx. So the integral of the sum is the sum of the integrals. So we can just write it as two integrals. So the integral of cosine of xy, we'll let u be equal to x times y, then du is equal to y times dx. So we have y dx, so we can substitute that in. So we have the integral of cosine u du, and that's our first integral. Plus, we can go ahead and even compute our second integral. The integral of e to the x is e to the x. And then we also need to include some arbitrary function of y that once we differentiate our function with respect to x, this term goes to zero. So we get the same partial derivative. So all that's left is to compute the integral of cosine u. Um, so that's sine of u plus e to the x plus a of y. And we have u is x times y. So we have our function f of x, y in terms of x and y. But we want to also determine what our function a of y is. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our function that we just got and take the partial derivative with respect to y and set it equal to our second term since they should be equal. So if we take partial derivative of sine of xy with respect to y is going to be x times cosine y. The partial derivative of e to the x with respect to y is 0. And then the partial derivative of a of y with respect to y is some function a prime of y. And we know that this is also equal to x cosine of xy. minus cosine y. So we can see that we have an x cosine xy on both sides of our equation. So we can subtract those terms. And we get that a prime of y is equal to negative cosine of y. So now we have function in a single variable, we can anti-differentiate both sides to determine our function a of y. 
and that's with respect to y. So on the left hand side we get a of y and the integral of cosine is sine so we have minus sine y and then we also have to include an arbitrary constant since the partial derivative of a regular constant with respect to x or y is zero so we can go ahead and plug in our new information um, into our previous solution for f of x y so we have sine of x y plus e to the x minus sine of y plus c. And that's our function f of x, y, whose partial derivatives are given to us as stated.